Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this video. Today we will make this effect, this cool character effect in Unreal Engine 5. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I have this empty folder. First, I will create a new label. Maybe this one only. And let's make this little darker. And this one bigger. And background, I want to make little purplish, or we can do that later. So let's create a new uh, sequencer here and I'll open this and in the sequencer I need an animation and I will use run animation let me go to here animation sequence and I have some uh, run sequence like this one And yeah, we can use this. So I will just drag it into the sequencer. And then in the animation, I'll choose from here, run. And now we have this. Although it has a cool material applied. If you want to learn this, I have separate tutorial for that. But I will change that material. I will make my own material for this. You can increase this if you want to repeat this multiple times. And just take maybe in here. Okay. Cool. And actually I want it uh, slow. To make it slow. Right click on the animation. The properties. There's a, there's a playback speed. I will make it like 0.3. Now. It's slow. Yeah. It's fine. I want to use it like this. Okay, so now I will make a material for it. So I will browse this and right click, make a material, M body. And it will be just a black material, maybe some distortion. So what I'll do, uh, I'll make this material unlit. So it's now flat black. And then what we can do, we can use a uh, noise texture. And I'll take your noise. Like you can take any noise you want. Maybe I'll use this one. And then multiply it. Uh, multiply it with the vertex number. Vertex number. And then multiply it again. Make a parameter WP of. My throat is not fine today. Now I will take a texture coordinate here. No, oh. should be here. Texture coordinate here. The first thing I'll do multiply it to make a tiling parameter. So it's a tile default value one. Then I'll make panel, and for the panel you can use append vector and you can make two parameters for x and y so this will be x pan and there will be y pan and for the shortcut of these nodes is just press s and left mouse button then you can rename it or press one and left mouse button then right click and make this parameter okay the default value let it be zero so this is it so i think this is it for now i'll just save it and i will just make a instance and then drag it on the body okay press g so this is how it looks for now and if i open this instance i don't need this material we have these parameters First thing, I will increase WPO, then we have the tiling, and then we have pan thing. So pan is just, you can put a random value in both, and you have to just work on WPO and tiling. So if you make the bigger tiling like this, like this, you can use, but I think this much is enough. And I will also make this two sided so because it's giving me that 
blankets okay cool now we will make some smoke trails coming out of this so for that uh, i will make, let me save it hello so i will make a smoke material although i have lots of smoke material i can use that and so let's make this let's make a smoke material uh, i will make a material m will smoke if we have a good sub uv that's fine you can use i have already but i'm not using i want to show you how you can use and the thing i am going to do is i have already done in some of my tutorials so let me do it again so on the planar i will use beside it and translate radial that will be like this then i need a noise uh, i will take actually uh, my favorite texture aura and, and let's make this unlit i don't want anything to lit okay and then i will multiply this aura and i want this texture to be like swirl like if i add power here so it will be visible properly so it should be like a swirling thing so what you can use you can use custom rotator and if i put it here and this thing here and it will ask me from which point you want to rotate. So I want to rotate it from the center. So that means 0.5. Then it needs a value. If you put a time, it will keep rotating it because time is updating. But I don't want that. So I just want it to rotate from the center. Then it will decrease the value. So that means I can use a radial. Just put it here. So where my radial is 1, it will rotate it too much. And you can see the result. And density I will reduce maybe just one. Okay, so now we can use LERP here. And this value will control the rotation. So if this is zero, there is no rotation in this texture. So that means we can animate it. So I will make a parameter and call it squared. And then what else you want? you want also for the tiling so I will multiply after this and make this a tiling this is tile and yeah, that's it so I will just take a particle color that will directly go here and this thing will multiply with the alpha and this will go here if I am too fast you can just see my notes now so with this parameter, I have a control of its rotation and the tiling. So I'll just save it. And browse it. And here I will make a Niagara. And take this. And it's small. So I'll open this and take a new ammeter. This one. So basically what I will do. First, I'll take the spawn rate and maybe 50. Then I want to spawn it from the skeleton. So I will take the skeleton location. And then uh, it's like this. And this is the skeleton mesh. Actually, this one. I will use. Oh. Now you can see particles spawning here, but these are spawning on the bone. So you have to in the skeleton mesh in the sampling, you have to go here and use surface triangles that will spawn on the body. Then I will use this material here. And what I'll do, I'll of course, I'll make this black. And I'll this actually I want to randomize the uh, alpha. So it's black. And with the dynamic parameter, if this is zero, there's no swirl. And tiling is zero, so tiling should be one. So there is no swirl, but if I make it, it is there's swirl. 
So basically I want to animate it. So what I'll do, I want a curve that will go from 0 to 1, maybe 0.5 to 2. And then tile should be random, maybe 0.5 to 2. And I'll take the scale color and make this fade in fade out fade in very fast cool and then we can add actually gravity or velocity whatever you want let's add gravity but not on minus but on any axis like on x cool so this much you have now i will just save it and then i will drag it into the sequencer and we have to link it with the animation so uh, in the smoke first i'll make this niagara component and then cycle and then make it decided so for this if i play it will work on my slider and then we have to attach it so here you need to attach this with the third person and i will use none now particle will spawn from the body but the uh, velocity is wrong axis it should be minus y so i will use minus y minus y means this and little bit it should go up if i reset and play and it should not like uh, spawn from starting so that's why there should be some warm up time Cool, and then I will make some uh, randomization in the alpha. So some will be really hard, and then life it should be random, maybe two and one, and this velocity should also be gravity should also be random. So I will go from minus one hundred to minus fifty and hundred zero to one hundred. Some will go up, some will not, or maybe just like this and this thing also we can also use drag and let's also add a velocity and I'll make this minus 50 here so initially they will push push backward like this and one more thing I will use camera offset so this should visible above the character maybe i will and the size of particle is should be random maybe 50 and 20. And yeah looks fine now I'll duplicate this emitter. In this one, I will duplicate the skeleton mesh to update. So, and delete the velocity and gravity. So particle will stick to the character like this. And this should be a little softer. And maybe it is smaller. So it will be give you the vibe that particle stick. And I can increase this to very like just to showcase that. Then what you can do, you can actually put a camera here and like this. And then what I'll do in the exponent height fog, where is my exponent? You can make this maybe publish. And that start thing should be why it's working really. Now your effect is more visible, and you can also go to the visual and then post process, find your unbound. Then I will just go 
to some vignette in the image this so now I have this and these are going to above so in the gravity I'll make this just 60 and 20 so less up and more to the right minus we will go up this side looks fine I guess and one more thing I now duplicate this and let's not this uh, swill too much maybe 0.5 from 0 to and I will use velocity aligned and I'll use size by speed and maybe I'll use 5 and 10 it's too much maybe 5 and 3 like this it's still too much maybe 3 and 2 yeah now this this looks fine but in here I'll make 0 this yeah now it gives good and my material should have also panel so I will use a pen here and just pan it on uh, this direction maybe so it will give you some uh, like fluidic effect see it's panning and now one more thing I'll do in my here I'll duplicate maybe this or this anyone like this one and I'll delete the sprite render, take it again so it will come with this default. And I'll make this like hot orange and maybe 5 and 1, or maybe 3 or 0.5. And this way, and I can also use curl noise in this way, maybe 200. And I will animate this also. Basically, we have some this kind of thing. It's still big, one and point five, and it's too many. So I will make this one. Yeah, now this looks fine. And these one which are stressed, this one, I will change the UV offset. Maybe if you use like point A. It will go back like this. Looks much better. I think this looks really nice. So that's it. I hope you like. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.